welcome to the 36th episode of my Extremely Dramatic Pleasant View. I took a bit of an impromptu break. I needed one badly, but I am back. And today I'm going to be playing with the Oldie family. So I'm home alone with my prima ballerina. That's nice. <laughs> Niji is gonna die like really, really soon. So get your heart ready for that. I'm trying to do the same. I'm having Anna Marie retire from her job. I honestly thought that she'd already retired, but apparently not. <laughs> there she goes, 850 daily is not bad. Hope he's back with Roshin. <laughs> I've been playing The Sims 4 lately and I wanted to go up a, a level and I went to the top here. <laughs> where's it? Where's Niji? Niji, so, Niji died, but I don't know where. Here. In the bedroom. I heard the phone. Like I heard um, the Grim Reaper's phone. And there's Niji. Aww. I'm gonna move the grave to the cemetery just so... Uh, we don't get haunted and there's also a couple people in the household that want to adopt a kitten I'm probably not going to adopt a kitten right now because I feel like it's a bit insensitive to Niji but there's a black female kitten it's aggressive though mm. okay no they're not all aggressive I was gonna say if they're all aggressive I don't care I'm gonna get the black one but the two traits I will not have in a cat are aggressive and finicky and I think all of these kittens are either aggressive or finicky or both. But the black kitten is only aggressive and not finicky. And I prefer that they be like... <laughs> I'm having a hard time explaining this. All right, the rumors are true. I am here to do a voiceover because the recording completely fucked itself over. So hello, I'm gonna tell you basically what happened in that round that you didn't see. I know there was just two minutes of video, but you know, that's the two minutes I could salvage. So appreciate me for, for me. Basically, I teleported all of the kids of the neighborhood to my house for the twins' birthday party because I like playing God. If I didn't like playing God, I wouldn't be playing The Sims 2. You know, the, uh -huh. I randomized the, well, no, not randomized at all. That's not what I've done at all. I've calculated. This is a very calculated situation, but I have calculated the aspirations of each tuatitia. And if I remember correctly, both of them were the um, usual aspiration that goes with their zodiac sign. So no real craziness going down there. I don't, I don't think. Oh no, 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 no. I've had a Red Bull. Uh, I think Zach is a Pisces and Pisces is either knowledge or family and he got family. So, then what's, um, nah, I'm just, now what's it, uh, If this is the first video you've ever seen of this Pleasant View, you must be so confused. But at the same time, I don't know if it's smart to start with the last episode in the series to start said series, you know? Mm -hmm. I decided to finally go ahead and adopt that damn cat because I was there physically, mentally, you know, I was there. I got the black kitten, of course, and I named her Kiki like the Animal Crossing villager. Then I was sure that Anna Marie was gonna die the next day so that she wouldn't actually live to see her great-grandchild. But she surprised me by living an extra day, so she's still alive if you download my save once I make it public. Anna is still gonna be alive and she's gonna be there to meet her great-grandchild, which is wild. It's the first time I've had that happen in this Pleasant View so far. I then took on the project to renovate June's old room so that it could become Wyatt's room, 
I made it have a bunch of posters and alien references because I do love a cliche. Then I had a house party because again, I was sure that Anna was gonna die so I just wanted her to have a last nice evening with her family and friends. And yeah, I guess that's it. Not much more than that had happened, honestly. Then for some reason I decided to show you my cursed retirement home in hair quotes because it's just an empty lot where I put all of my elderly townies and I kill them off slowly so that I can have a rotation of townies and not have the same ones all the time. But it's also a lot that I go to spawn all of the kids and the teens in my town so that they can chat and meet each other at the end of every round. And I had never shown this before, but it is something that I do after every single round so that my children can know each other and my teens can make friends and also maybe check out who's related to who and who I could match with who, you know? <laughs> it's the perfect lot to do this because the members of the family are stuck in a box and cannot do anything. So that's, that's nice. And yes, the graves at the back are elder townies that I've already killed off. Yes, they are. <laughs> Hi. It very much is a different day, but I decided that for the last episode of my Extremely Dramatic Pleasant View, I should go ultra old school and do it face cam. Is that what Stray is like? And uh, obviously, yes, the rumors are true. I have moved my computer around, so now the back is different than it was before. Now you can see my the greens yes and now you know that i really am as smart as i seem and there's the third one coming in october that i'm gonna be able to put up and yes now you can see behind me <laughs> that i have um juno right here and spleens right here that i own books as well as movies before then you'd only seen my movies I own books as well and I have a wardrobe it's huge <laughs> and it is there and now you've seen like the split the other side of the room <laughs> and there's a there's even a fourth side that you could see if eventually I just move everything around and put my computer where my bed is that would be like we could just spin 360 and change it up every single video I think that'd be fun and very practical for me oh. Well, hello, twinks and brunettes, and welcome to a weird mixture of episode 36 and 37 of my Extremely Dramatic Pleasant View. Today is an important episode. It is a momentous occasion. It is the last episode that I will ever post of my Extremely Dramatic Pleasant View. I feel like I made the right decision because I feel like it has run its course. Okay, everyone is already set up with rooms to their names and I did change my sims appearances so like their hair and makeup and stuff but I didn't change the clothes yet so I'm going to do that now. You know now that I've taken a step back from like what was in fashion back then the dresses that came with the H&M pack are an affront to God honestly. The day I realized those were all babies was I don't know what kind of day it was, but it wasn't a good day. I'm gonna check to make sure that nobody changed sexualities while they were in the move to live here, because that has happened in the past. Nelly is still straight, Orlando is straight but low. <laughs> okay, so he could be convinced. <laughs> Lottie is still straight, oops. And Pierce is also straight. Okay, now everyone is just straight. So, so far we live with one straight girl, one bi guy, and one gay guy. That's nice. Oh, I don't, I don't know what they did, but there's a, a crush. What did you guys do? You didn't kiss or anything. Okay. Oof. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> he keeps trying to kiss her though. No, you stop painting because there's a boy wanting to do- I'm so sorry about the cars in the street. This is so fucking important. This is so much more important than all the cars in all this entire fucking city that could drive by at this freaking moment. This is so important. I've never seen anything more important, actually. We are witnessing history 
And I'm barely witnessing it because the easel was in the way, but now we are witnessing it. And that is so beautiful. I'm cutting none of that. I'm going to start eating my, my chocolate and you're going to hear all of it because I'm not cutting a second of it. Oh, it is so soft and for what? Oh, and now she wants to school cheer me. You know, being really encouraging in her own way. Thank you so much. She's so cute. Like, isn't she so cute? And I love the vibes of the necklace cutting through the winter outfit. It's just, you know, the vibes are immaculate. And this car honking thinks so as well. I said this in my last recording, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, the audio corrupted, so, huh, you didn't hear me say that. But, on the computer project, I am coming up strong. I now have RAM, a motherboard, I have the power supply, and I'll have the case coming in the mail pretty soon. So, you know, things are moving, things are happening, things are shaking up. Nellie wanted to invite someone over, so I had her invite Preston, that guy she kissed as a teen. <laughs> and when he'll be here, I'll age him up with the sim lender so he's an adult. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, who is it now? It's not one of mine. Oh. Oh. Hello. Okay. Well, okay. Have fun. Don't get pregnant. It's funny, too, because I think that's the, the, the townie that is... Angel's mother, technically, not really, but you know, so it's kind of funny that she, she you know, she does go around apparently. <laughs> All right, so age to adult, Mr. Preston Ham, please. He's just having a boogie in the dormitory kitchen, and I was calling the gardener at the same time. Oh my god, I need to change her outfit. That is awful. Yes, I need help with gardening, please. I need to change this so fast. So quickly, painless, hopefully. So now you can actually see Preston in his full glory. He does have alien eyes. You couldn't see them before because they don't show up on teenagers for some reason. Well, she fulfilled her want to flirt that she had and now it's all crush vibes. So that's very good to me. She still only wants to like tickle or play and stuff because she's a family sim and she's too pure. I'm gonna have her say goodbye for tonight because even though she wanted to have a baby earlier today I don't I don't I don't think she'd want to do it like now you know now when they wake up is the real first day so I'm very excited for them to start actually rolling ones that I can use in university that would be such a breath of fresh air now Orlando this isn't what I would call focusing on the studies okay well all of you are fucking like None of you have priorities in order, except for Mags. Well, she's she wants to dance. That's okay. You know, dancing can be very pure. It will not be, but it can. Oh, she wants a political science. No, you're not getting in the hot tub because I know why you you want to get in there. That's a no for now. Literature for you. You don't have one, and you also would like literature. That's fine. All right, everyone that wanted a specific major is now registered. So I, oh, so I only have Orlando that is just completely nude in the hot tub that doesn't have a major yet. He might someday, you never know. I've also invited Fatima for Pierce so that I can do the same thing and age her up. Because I feel like they would be the same age. Oh, why are you watching cooking TV? Watch something fun. Or, yeah, do you need, yes you do. Well, put, put that shit back on the yummy channel. There. That paid off. Yes. He wants to gain a kill point. Sometimes flirting is the answer. I don't care about anyone that's talking to me right now. They keep trying to woohoo autonomously and it's really not the mood. So I'm trying to just move this along naturally and not just go balls to the wall too fast. But he wants to ask his sim on a date, so I think that once freshman year is over, uh, we could do that. And then we go right to bed so that we don't make any mistakes. And these two had only kissed before, so I'm not gonna let them get too far either. This isn't a ACR woo-woo um, hot tub situation. I put them in the hot tub myself. It was a choice. It was a conscious choice. There might be a bit of a makeout, but that is going to be as far as it goes. 
and I will keep my word on this. And I save every night because I learn from my mistakes. <gasps> he wants to get engaged to her. Okay, you're serious, serious. Well, you know what that is? You know what I like about this? This is a man that knows what he wants. You know, we have too little of these nowadays. But I am also pretty sure that Fatima is a Roman sim, so that, that, I'm not sure how that will go. So it's the exam this morning, and I've honestly never been so unsure about if my sims are going to pass or not. Like, if we take a look at this, everyone's in the red. They have some skills, but like, this is not good. This is also very much not good. Like, I, I, <laughs> this is awful. Like, honestly, I don't know if they will pass. It'll be a big surprise if they do. Oh, see? 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 Everyone's got a C. Everyone's got $400. That is easy to remember. That's nice. You know, they, you know, C's get degrees. That's the mantra. Now that it's sophomore year, I'm making them go out on the date that I was talking about. We could go on a date at the spa. Wouldn't that be so cool? Let's do that. Okay, Devi, I tried calling you yesterday. You, you never, you never answer my calls. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Do I need to send you a pigeon, perhaps? All right, he's got one thing on his mind, and that's that's very nice. She wants to take. She wants to ask him home. <laughs> I always think that's so funny. You guys live together. There's a koi pond here. No, I want to feed the fish. Feed the fish. Yes. Come on, feed the koi. Oh, there's a sauna here. There's also hot tubs, but that's a lot less um, intimate. We would be alone in the sauna. Let's not try for a baby. You know, let's at least stay a bit classy. Fuck you, miss. No, fuck you, miss carpal bottom. You can chastise us once we're done, okay? We don't want to entertain you right now. It's too much. Well, there we go. And Lottie is very hungry, so we might just walk to another lot where there's a restaurant. He, he wants to streak. You know what? Okay. Oh, Ezra is playing some live music for us tonight. Delightful. Oh, I just you know, I cannot get over these animations. They're just so cute. Wait, let me just do that again. I just want to see it again. It's just so cute. Do it again. Come on. No. Like, look how adorable. Do the hot smooch now. It is very intense, though. That one. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now Nelly is also interested in having a date, so I might- Oh no, I didn't want to ask you to leave. No, Preston's! <laughs> that was stupid. Let's just go and teleport him. Oh, they're being so cute. Now we are having some casual fun time in the tub, but not the ACR casual fun time. Oh, they are in love and we are making out in the tub. It is hot in here. Oh, now <sighs> Engagement and woohoo. Okay, I'm gonna follow along. Who am I to tell my girl that she cannot get what she wants? You know, if she gets pregnant, I'll laugh so fucking hard. All right. There wasn't a chime, but there was a lot of music <laughs> at the same moment. No, okay, there's no, there's no baby. I'll ask him to date me because they want to get engaged. It's a bit intense, so let's date first. And then I'll end the date. This was very productive, thank you. Lottie just telling Nelly about the woohoo full on being like, do, do you know what I did last night? Let me tell you in detail what I did last night. <laughs> Nelly talking about the woohoo back to her. Well, do you know what I did? <laughs> Oh well, they're going to woohoo in the tub. I'm gonna let them. I'm just gonna listen. Let me just check because this song is so long. No, okay. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for you to streak. She's shocked as if she hasn't just seen him naked the five minutes ago. There, beautiful, beautiful moment as a family and as lovers. 
Alright, it's the final exam and I still don't like... He's okay, he's in the blue. <laughs> but he's the only one. They'll get C's again, I think. There we go, more C's. And Orlando's in philosophy because he never rolled to declare a major. <laughs> And it's voice over me back at it again to explain what happened in a sequence of video that doesn't have any audio anymore. I'm recording this later than the previous uh, voiceover that I did, so I might be even more unhinged than I already was. So this sequence starts with Orlando working out and bugging like he's got a book stuck in his hand indefinitely which i think is very beautiful and really conveys his passion for lifelong learning and then sue sylvester was back and it was nelly working out in the like cummins uh living room yes and that's great for her you know get your fitness on you know like, do it if you want to do it do it for yourself oh my god yes self-care then she invited her boy over and they had a nice boohoo in the hot tub again but nothing happened because they use protection as they should and has apparently not everyone does because the very next day there was a weird orgy in the hot tubs on the roof where both Orlando and Lottie and Pierce and Fatima got it on at the same time in different hot tubs. It was weird. It was weird. But I asked my Google home to randomize a number between 1 and 100, as I sometimes do when I woohoo with townies. And it's very rare, actually it never happened, that I got it. I like, I actually, like, it was between 1 and 8, because it has to be between 1 and 8. And I swear to God, that bitch said 8. I have the screenshot to prove it. I have a screenshot of my Google Home history that I am showing on the screen right now. And my reaction on video was actually priceless, but it has been lost to time and space and the entire universe. So nobody, not even myself, will ever get to see my face when I actually, when that, when that little, when that machine, when that, when Google, Google, that godforsaken Google machine said eight. God, you, mm, yeah, you could have spoken to me. I would have hit you. You know, I was just fair. I was fair. I was feral. So then I was like, okay, bet Fatima's pregnant, whatever. So I moved her into the retirement home and made her pregnant there because that's the way I did it with Janae. So I decided that that would be the way I would do it with her as well. And yeah, that just goes pretty, like, that's pretty easy to do. It's just moving her in and making you pregnant with the symbol blender so really well you know not a hard hard task and then I also made the decision that I was gonna play out this pregnancy before ending the episode so that that is what I've done at the end of this episode I'm gonna be playing out Fatima's pregnancy <laughs> love life and then my entire shit fucking crashed and I'm not kidding. This part is really short actually so it's kind of not that bad and the rest actually has face cam and audio so Mm, party you guys do not understand how fucking mad I am this video is cursed someone somewhere does not want me to end this <laughs> fucking series <laughs> somebody, somebody wants me dead I think so yeah as you've hopefully seen in the recap uh, Fatima is pregnant and we're going to see the birth of this baby through, I guess. I think the exam, yeah, the exam's in the morning, it's in 12 hours, and she's just never wanted to work on any skills at all, so I think we're gonna have our first fail. Epic fail. Oh, thank you, Fatima. D did you give me that for getting you pregnant? Is that what you wanted me to do? Because that's what I did. Alright, everyone is at their final exam. I'm pretty sure only Lottie's gonna fail and everyone else should get a C. Oh, C plus. Oh, yeah. Lottie is. Okay. 
Everyone else got a C plus and Lottie got a D. So Lottie is on academic probation, but she still doesn't have any wants that could actually help her. But she's so cute that she's allowed a dumb bitch moment. I'll try to fulfill some of her wants to see if she rolls anything usable. Right now she wants to invite someone over, so I'll just invite her brother. Now she wants to be friends with Preston. <laughs> no. Oh, she's calling him. Oh, she has a lot to say. I'm at a loss for words, but I got a lot of shit to say. <laughs> Let's go. You know, she she deserves um us to, um you know, actually show up for her. Oh, she is talking about it. She's talking about it. And he's like, oh, I get it now. I get what you wanted to see me ASAP. <laughs> You'll have your time, Isaiah. Just let her have the baby first and then we'll think about cheating. Ella's just fucking it up on the violin. Let's go, girl. That is not good. There we go. We had a fantastic date and I am thinking... He wants to get engaged to her. She's just told him she's pregnant. Like, let's get out the rock. Dwayne. Chunks. She's so stupid for saying yes. But she's saying yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He wants to gain a skill point. This was this was all worth it. She's happy she said yes though. She's kind of stupid. You know, this episode is really just bad decisions all around. I'm fulfilling once just so they don't have such stupid ones, but it's not really working. So now we have just Florence here because she's Orlando's friend and they're throwing around a football. That's what life is now. She wants to do research. That's not going to help you, dude. You need skills. She wants to influence someone to do her assignment. Girl, you... I think I'm hearing my girl make a booty call. Yes, that's exactly what she's doing. Okay, they're going for a casual woohoo. I'm going to keep an eye out. What's up? What's the situation? I think the situation is good. Yes. I think I should have them officialize the relationship, so I'll ask her to go steady with me. It seems to be going very well, and it is. <gasps> oh, she- Oh, 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 God. Okay, Charisma, go, 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 go. I was sure she was gonna flunk out, but she might not. Because if she gets that skill, I think she'll be fine. Orlando won't, though. And he still doesn't have a want to gain a skill, so that's gonna be bad. There she goes. She has the skill she needs. Okay, Pierce got an A minus. Good going, my dude. Let's deposit that thousand. Uh, Lottie got a C. Nelly has a C plus. And Orlando's on academic probation. Bad, bad boy. Miraculously, she's already, like, Lottie is already fine for her senior year, so she's gonna pass for sure. Orlando, though, it's, it's not looking very good. It is not looking very good. Like, you need to want skills, dude. That is just not the mood. Nelly has been wanting to propose to Preston for, like, years at this point, so... I think I'm gonna take them out, have a little dinner, and then she can propose to him. Isn't he just the cutest, most darling little boy? Can I steal a bite from you, please? That'd be appreciated. Here we have uh, Faith getting high with her mother. That's... I don't judge. Okay, I think it's time to propose. Let's do the surprise engagement. He's so excited! Oh, there he goes! Alright, well he's leaving, so the date is over now, apparently. <laughs> right, I think it's time to get Nels back home. Oh, um, mm, mm, uh, not sure about that outfit. But you do what you want. I think I'm gonna get Pierce to move back home as well. Outfit is a little bit better, but still not good, not good. Okay, now I'm left with my two failures. Hm. Oh, we're having a woohoo. Let's listen, I'm listening, I'm listening. Okay, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm thanking the Lord Almighty, by the way. <laughs> oh, 
They're gonna make such adorable babies. <laughs> he still just wants to do research. That, uh, mm, what do you want to research to? You don't know anything. God, his wants are so useless. I, like, honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I could have them go on a date. That tends to shuffle the wants a lot. We have a ticket for a free dinner, so I'm sending them to eat. Okay, this is a bit awkward. He's on a date next to her brother. Well, did I order myself some McDonald's? Perhaps, mayhaps I did. The women of the Triku family need to have babies in university. It's just a rite of passage. It's exam time, she's throwing up, it's great. It's great! Anyway, he's gonna flunk out. She's gonna pass, but she's pregnant. So who has it worse in the end? It, who has it worse? I think she does. Because he's gonna come back, flunk out, age up, move out. And she's gonna be stuck here, pregnant. She's feeling sick. She just got expelled. <laughs> Your baby daddy's a fail. Now, I think she would have a hunch that something's going on, so she would call her mother. Plus, she wants to invite someone, so it's perfect. Let's invite mom over, have a nice chat. Mom, if I invited you here today, it's to tell you about something very stupid that I've done. There she goes. Oh my god, I just thought about it. Ro is gonna be so fucking mad. Well, she would be really fucking mad. I put her into this cute little outfit that has a pregnancy morph and oh yeah, I know you're tired. It's fine. You could go to bed. So now at least she looks cute. Oh, look how cute it looks in her little sleep dress, pajama dress. Look how cute it is. I teleported Orlando over so we can have a nice conversation. She wanted to invite him over, but I can't since he doesn't live in a house technically she's talking about the weather i want you to talk about the baby oh she's had the second bum right i'm gonna have him acknowledge it by giving her a back rub and just like peekaboo with the belly i guess oh she's on the phone with her mom talking about toys talking about toys over and over again i'm gonna have to send her to bed though the pacifier is rolled this is the last stretch she's given birth in about six hours now six five four hours <laughs> four hours to go oh oh, oh 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 she stopped in the middle of the shower and she's gonna naked naked perfect i mean au natural you know as they say and she's screaming very silently and there's a new family member on the way <sighs> she's just fully naked wow 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 who was our last baby nova wasn't it i think nova was the last baby we had a black hair huh so this is a baby boy and we're on the letter o just like daddy so so welcome baby oscar i guess this baby names list also gave me um omega as a, a boy a, a boy boy a boy but boy a baby boy name that I could use but no black hair and dark blue eyes and now of course I'll have her move out and the baby will be taken away but don't worry it's all good yeah 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 take him away take him away I'll get him back as if I care I don't everybody thinks I do but I don't and there he is my sweet baby boy all right, so I'll move everyone back into their houses and then we can play Fatima, I guess, through her pregnancy as well. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This has been running a bit long. I have been filming since like 6.30. It is 10.41 p.m. And this is like, I didn't even film the whole episode today. I think I am slowly going mental, but it's okay. And we're powering through it and I'm gonna finish this episode tonight and I'm gonna edit it all weekend and I'm gonna post it and it's gonna be great it's gonna be awesome all right so I got Fatima this small little apartment it's very cute got a lot of plants in it it's 
a bit witchy and we have a chance card that we're gonna do. Due to the tragic incident with the womb rats, SimCity politicians have issued a new set of training requirements for service animals in a hurry. The entire organization is busy dealing with the new requirements and Fatima is on her own to understand the new rules of rescuing sleeping sims from fires. What the fuck is your job? Fatima could train the animals to drag sims to safety or to cover them with a wet blanket and call for help. No girl, drag them to safety. Fatima decides that waiting for help in a fire is a risky idea and therefore quickly comes up with a training program to teach the animals how to drag an unconscious sim without causing injury. The program is a massive success and Fatima is asked to train all the service animals on it with a bonus, of course. Bonus of $100? Are you fucking serious? She's back home. She also wants to flirt with Orlando and I locked it because I think it's kind of funny. Oh, it's Orlando on the phone. Interesting, interesting. He wants to go downtown. Not right now because I'm doing awful, but eventually. I feel like I always say shit like that, but honestly, I don't know if this episode is going to be super long or like normal, like 30 minutes, or if it's going to be like 50 minutes. Honestly, it'd be if the last episode of, oh, she's getting a bun, a bum 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 bum. If the last episode of this series is extremely long, I think that'd be kind of fitting. <laughs> so I don't, I don't mind it being longer than usual. I'm really just speeding through this pregnancy. I kind of just like want her to pop and that's it. Pop and lock it, pop it, dot it, da, ba, da, 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 da. I don't know the lyrics. Oh, she's trying to flirt with him and he's not having it. He thinks she's hot though, maybe he's just too fateful. Let me just try again. No, he's still not having it. That's so interesting. He's fateful to his college girlfriend that he got pregnant. That's fun. Oh no, that's not the skill I wanted her to get. And now she wants to Invite Pierce over. Ugh. <laughs> As if he's not the man that she's pregnant with. You know, she. It. it she. He, ah, ha, ha, you know. Oh, Leo. Hello. What are you doing? Hi. What's What's up? Are you even my friend? Oh yeah, you are. But you woke me up in the middle of my nap. I'm pregnant. Look, do, do you not have any respect for women in general? Because it doesn't feel like you do. Feels like you has you have no respect for women. Where is he? He's on my he's on the shitter. Got the man in this poor girl's life. Yeah, I know you're going crazy. I don't know why men keep like bothering you. I know I invited Orlando myself, so that was 100% my fault. But I'm allowed. She's already been pregnant for 41 hours? Oh, there she goes, there she goes. Yes, yes, yes. You don't need to slap yourself in the face. You could have slapped a condom on. Anyway. There we go, there we go, there we go. Go, go. Blue eyes, black hair, tan, and it's a girl. And we are on the letter P for the girl. <gasps> wait, 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 I know. Wait, I know. Guys. Like, am I right? Or am I right? No, he's meeting his little girl. No, little girl. She's washing off the afterbirth. I'm sorry, this is gross. But now I'm just gonna have her take care of the baby and he can leave. Not that we don't want him around, but I don't know if it's necessary right now. What? Why are you in my house? Get the fuck out whole bag what the hell get out as soon as 6 p.m rolls by it's gonna be three days that i'm playing with her and poppy is gonna have a birthday tomorrow so i could technically age her up to taller now which would be interesting to see if she looks terrifying like her father did when he was a toddler actually i'm very curious i want to see so i'm gonna buy a cake and i'm gonna invite the bastard over all right, let's bring Poppy to the cake, and you better bring your ass over to the kitchen. Aww. Now we won't get a cutscene because it's not a birthday party, but that's fine. Let's go change Poppy's appearance. Let's go. I'm excited. Yeah, she's terrifying. Cool. God, those eyes. Those eyes will haunt me till the end of my life. Yeah, let's go with that. I guess. 
She's terrifying. But it's okay though, it's not your fault. But yeah, I'm gonna stop playing here because I'm pretty sure that she's gonna get married to Pierce even though she probably shouldn't and move in with him. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. She's done her three days and Poppy's terrifying, so. Well guys, I wanna thank you all so much for coming on this journey with me. It was a big ask to come in with Sims that you didn't know that you had no prior attachment to and ask you to care, basically. But I feel like it worked and I feel like you did and I feel like as we got to know these Sims, you also got to know me because this is my preferred way of playing. I love these sims, I love these stories, and I feel like that came through in these videos, at least I hope it has. I'm only stopping this series because I don't want it to become the YouTube thing. I want it to stay my thing. I hope you understand, and I hope I might have inspired some of you to start playing more rotationally or start doing things a bit more dramatically, pick some wild options just to see what could happen. I'm overjoyed with the state of my town right now, with the way I play, and I hope it was at all entertaining to watch. I'll be back at the end of the month with the first episode of A Mid Stranger Night's Dream, which is going to be a much more story-driven series. I am going to create little scenarios where I'm going to make the story happen with editing. But there's also going to be live gameplay, so it's not just going to be like a bunch of machinimas or something like that. It's going to be the gameplay. I'm excited to see where I go with this. I'm excited to see what happens with it. And I'm excited for you to see what I have prepared for you. Once again, thank you all so much for watching this series. Thank you all so much for the subscriptions, the comments. It's it's really unfathomable even now i still cannot comprehend everything that's happened but i'm very grateful for it so as always guys i love you and i care about you sleep tight don't let the bud light bite see you soon